NJ is based overseas in a country that uses the crown as its currency. NJ sources all its raw materials locally. information uh, uh, If the acquisition goes ahead, NJ will continue to operate relatively autonomously within the group and will raise its own finance locally. Some of the IS 21 on the day, regulations will have regulatory information. How can we recognize or which will be the presentation and which will be the functional currency? Okay. Which of the following statements are true? So this is not a question of consolidation, but more, mostly a question on IAS 21. <coughs> okay. So IAS 21, we rules and regulations. Second paragraph, third paragraph. So we will see by one, one statement, by each statement, J. Now this is the same all that apply. If you have a statement, you can correct it, you can incorrect it. So NJ will be a subsidiary of BH. <coughs> is this true? And should therefore select the dollar as its functional currency. Because the entities are part of a group. But this is not true, isn't it? The consolidation can be in terms of the group, but in terms of presentation, IS 21 says that the functional currency is based on economic conditions. So in economic conditions like Kiki. Economic conditions, it will operate autonomously and it will raise its own source of finance. This is one of the two criteria that is applicable for IS 21, isn't it? So indeed, this first statement is not true. Jehetu, first statement is not true. B. Well, we can not completely because a regular paragraph has a period. Okay, a regular paragraph has a period. Sources raw materials locally, number one. R locally recruits a workforce and subject to local taxes and corporate, but with the sales hotship to customers any in other countries. But they have to own the operations of shop locally sourcing raw materials, sourcing workforce. So another condition of IS21 is that whether or not these criteria exist. Okay. Export kutche ki bhabe oita important na, but internal issues gula ki bhabe deal hotche. Internal issues gula shop other local currency gula deal hotche. In that case, obviously, IS21 will say that use the crown. Use the crown as the functional currency. So, if you have A wrong, then B should be right because it's the opposite. <laughs> Isn't it? That dominates the primary economic conditions or environment in which NJ operates. So, if you have A wrong, B must be right because B is saying the same opposite thing of A completely. Okay, C, statement C. The functional currency cannot be the crown as the majority of the sales revenue is not denominated in this currency. Again, same thing, IS21 regulation on the day. Statement C is false. 
Because again, statement B here to true, statement C must be false. <coughs> again, same thing. Statement D should adopt the crown as its functional currency. Obviously, that is what I'm going to do. It should be true. Uh, NG must adopt the crown as its presentational currency. How about that? Why is it false? It is directed the Exactly. Must, 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 must adopt, isn't it? Must adopt. Right. So it is. Second, the correct answer is B about D. May adopt. Yeah. So it could have been. It could have been. But we know that it's dependent on the directory. The directory should adopt the crown as a functional currency. Must adopt. Should. Okay. Yeah. Should adopt. That is functional currency. NJ. NJ should adopt the crown as its functional currency. Isn't it? I can admit it about the presentational currency. Now, should at all. What does should mean? Should means it's based on a logical decision. Okay, it's based on a logical course of sequence. So in this case, that is true. That it should, based on the fact that the economic considerations apply, which is that they have a local source of raw materials, they have a local source of labor, so their payments to their suppliers and payments to their employees are in the local currency, then they should adopt uh, the crown, the currency. crown as the functional, functional currency. currency. But presentational currency depends on the, the directors, isn't it? Okay. Number 149. This is a question on the validated statement. So you have the carrying value of property, plant, and equipment record. Given some exchange rates. So try this please. Try this alone. Or in your group. Try this on your own or in a group. See if you can come to the correct answer. Growth, right? Our carrying value at 30th June 2006, 12.8 million. Okay. Our book value, Dawatsha, Hotche, growth, Hishara. So, you can do it up on that, GR. Four point three, isn't it? Four point three million. Four point three million dollars. 
closing value? That is the trick of the question. So I'm writing I closing value to bar code kind of because remember, I'm going to go to in the statement of financial position. Statement of financial position is key that year end value. So, the year end value is 4.1. Okay, we don't need to use all the other values. We need to use the closing value, the year end value in the SOFP. And the comprehensive income statement is that we take the average value. Not yet. Because I'm going to get your adjustments. Fair value adjustment. Half a million. Second paragraph. At the date of acquisition, the book value of the net assets was 5.8 million growth. And this was the same as the fair value, with the exception of some properties that had a fair value considered to be half a million greater than book value. So we can do it an impact of it. Touch increased value, I touch it less the depreciation, adjust additional depreciation. So increased value is 0.5 minus half a million. Our total depreciation cost. Remaining property had a remaining useful life of 40 years at acquisition. Am I right? Quite long. Covid 2003. Yes. Isn't it? So three years for depreciation much. So depreciation adjustment how much cost have it? Depreciation adjustment of a hotche, 500. Sorry, 500 times 3 by 14. Okay. So how much is that? 37.5. 37.5. Then I get 1,300. Five hundred thirty-seven thousand five hundred. So minus that. Okay. How much is that? Approach this plus this minus this. Four four two five. Four four two five. Right? No. Four thousand eight hundred minus thirty-seven. Four seven nine six two point five. Four seven six six point five. Four seven six two point five. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to get a year end value. I'm going to fair value. And just going to write the value to that. See, I'm going to keep over four point one. You multiply and I keep divide. Divide. Divide by four point one. So, that will give us the amount of dollar. One one six one one five six one point one six. No, no, sir. One one six two. Yeah, we're keeping a million dollars. Thirteen point nine six. Thirteen point nine six. Well, I'm going to do it. Answer. So thirteen point nine six one nine six seven. Actually, a calculation to win money. Complete. Complete. So I can have an actual figure for the So that can actually cut Russian. My answer will be either B or D. <coughs> <coughs> But remember, a statement of financial position in Japan, we use the year end value. And the statement of comprehensive income, we use the average. Average value. Average value. Okay. So you can have the applicable rate must be the year end rate. So I'm going to show you 4.1 that I'll use. Yes. So B. Okay. Fine. So each one of the things we write down is like our actual or a, I mean, which section figures we are touching. SOFP touching, or SOCI touching. Okay. 
The same thing, 148. Please try that, 148. Two different, it is actual goodwill calculation. So goodwill calculation is to back and forth. 148, actually, actually, I'll give it to you. Okay. Oh no, I'm being videotaped again. Bolvenna. <laughs> 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 the powder movement. <laughs> <laughs> so 148. We can actually goodwill calculation the court that would be reflected in the consolidated statement of financial position. Okay. A <coughs> group. The functional currency bolache eight dollars. Okay. Acquired eighty percent for five point two million. Presents its financial statements in the B dollars. So functional currency and presentation currency on the different such as. Okay. Fair value of B's net assets. Dawache. NCI Dawache. Okay. Fair value method. Okay, not proportional. Fair value method. Value Dawache. Impairment name on the date of acquisition, or since the date of acquisition. So obviously this makes it a bit more easier. Okay. Our other relevant exchange rates, Dawacha. But remember that for the purpose of presentation, we use the, especially for the statement of financial position, we'll use the year-end rate, not the average rate. Then our other question that the same thing is So before we do the problem, under 30th September, what's another year end reporting date? So we need to use the one dollar equals to 71, so 0.71. Anyway, so I can actually goodwill calculation to current. So consideration paid cotton. So 5.2 million, but at what rate? First October. Exactly, yeah. First October, 0 0.5. Okay. So if they convert what to happen? So we multiply that. 5.2 million. Multiplied by 0 0.5. Well, 2.6 million actually. Half. 2.6 million. So consideration paid. <laughs> Yeah, this is the B dollar. B dollar. Fair value of the NCI? Six hundred. NCI? Six hundred. Six hundred thousand, isn't it? But that's already in B dollars. Then now, so we can change for the So zero point six. Next to each other, value of the net assets. Fair value of the net assets. Net assets. Keep on adjustment for the other. Not really, because I'm there already bought I answer. 2.8 million per value of the net assets. 1.4. 1.4. Okay. Okay. But that's in B dollars, isn't it? Right? So I'm going to year end rate it. Put it convert to convert to two. That's 71. 
So do we divide or do we multiply? We divide. Because we're converting it back, isn't it? So? Is that what Nah, divide B dollar. It took a B dollar and I'm going to calculate for it. So we now need to convert it to A dollar. Right. So what do I share? A dollar? 0.563 million. Right. So we can have the correct answer is B. Isn't it? 563380. That's the correct answer. 563380. Okay? Our B dollar calculate for a year end rate. Amra, eh? our presentation currency. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Not the actual value, but the average rate, the closing rate, the opening rate. Closing net assets, obviously. Closing rate. Closing rate, right? So, we closing net assets. Next line is comprehensive income. Remember, our comprehensive income and catcher, we use the average. average rate. So, second column is average. So, what is the nature line? Opening rate. Exactly. Opening rate opening net assets. Isn't it? What is the closing net assets? I tell me that the opening net assets. Our opening net assets will be at the opening rate. Remember this table. Because this table will help you in other calculations. Isn't it? Exchange differences on net assets. Our day three, our no slides will be Okay, our table will be at the Similar. Okay, similar thing. Less opening net assets. Closing net assets, closing net. Of course. Average rates. You have to check opening rates. So opening rate means money. This minus this minus the other must be the exchange difference. Yeah. So can I have a little check? Opening less opening net assets, not net assets at acquisition. Opening value of the net assets. Okay. So I'm going to do the last. Less opening net assets. 
AB acquired 70% of the ordinary share capital of XY. So there is a new acquisition. Isn't it? Last paragraph. Net assets had a fair value of 4.4 million. So group policy is to value the NCI at the proportionate share of the net assets. So Tarmane, proportionate share to the Kori, 30%. Right? So new acquisition. <laughs> <coughs> Acquisition and CI value. Okay, what's that? Thirty percent of four thousand four hundred. This is the proportionate value of the net assets. So, how much is that? One three two zero. One three two zero. Okay. Around the closing value, the dollar check of the closing value. Carry it forward. Second number, this balance must be the dividends paid. Really going to take a second actually. So it's a total. Minus that is the closing value. Opening value at a comprehensive income, you should be income to the show, or just share with the other kid out of the situation. No one acquisition version of a new subsidiary, an acquisition of a new subsidiary, not open acquisition. So, a proportionate share of the apple, 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 proportionate share of Eight three eight two zero three two zero Calculate the dividends paid to the parent shareholders that will appear in the cash flows from financing activities. So, you can the correct answer to your question? 800, which is C. Right? C. So, 139. So, our same procedure for the Our the opening balance of retained earnings, the voucher, which is the attributable to the parent. I can jump opening balance to the NCI Dawalcha. Same thing, opening the balance of the retained earnings. Dawalcha, 20,100. NCI Nalike, just leave both. Table to change, table remains the same. The same thing, opening and closing. Well, I can get you the change, whatever. NCI and this is the parents share. So opening balance here is twenty thousand one hundred. <coughs> okay. Next day I'm key at Kobo the amount of the profit attributable to the ordinary shareholder. Okay. Profit attributable to the ordinary shareholder, which is how much? <laughs> Three double eight zero, isn't it? Owners of the parents. Profits, profit attributable, not total comprehensive Why is it in case I'm a cannot profit use coach? I'm a cannot total comprehensive income use coach.